pace of life seems to be accelerating. It's actually the most polluted city in America. We're more connected to information, but less connected to each other. In these increasingly uncertain times, a growing number of people have discovered a surprisingly effective antidote. Mindfulness. Mindfulness comes in two forms. One is a specific type of meditation. Mindfulness meditation. Every time you put your mind on your breath, and then it wanders, that's what the mind does, and you notice it wandered, and then you bring it back, you're strengthening the neural circuitry for paying attention. This is quite a parallel with going to the gym and lifting weights. Every time you lift that weight, every repetition strengthens that muscle just a little bit more. Among novice practitioners, we saw changes in the brain after just two weeks of practice. This was a kind of proof of concept study uh, that underscored how quickly these changes can arise. Strengthening that mental muscle builds an ongoing quality of attention simply known as mindfulness. The way I define mindfulness is paying attention to our present moment experiences with openness and curiosity and a willingness to be with what is. So it's a quality of attention that we can have at any moment, whether we're walking down the street or talking to a friend or eating or brushing our teeth, we can bring that quality of awareness to our experience. We just start making better decisions for ourselves and others. We start taking better care of ourselves. We feel better about ourselves. We generally feel better about other people. We just become more relational, more empathic. And, you know, so I think that's all good. When you're aware of a sensory experience while you're happening it without the compulsive activity of the mind to define it is a very wonderful state to be in because it's a state of peace. Thank you.